Hey there, it's Bio from Lobby AI. So today I'm going to be showing um, our onboarding feature um, at Lobby AI. So um, say you already have a talent, you already hired them, you already interviewed them, vetted them, you found a good fit for a role, and basically you're looking for an HIRS solution that you can onboard and do just general employee management concerns, right? So think um, org chat, um, payroll, compliance, um, performance management, time management, expense, invoicing, all that stuff, right? That it's very important to ensuring that you retain your remote hiring workforce. Um, so today I'm gonna to show you our solution for that. And um, so that's the onboarding workflow, right? So a couple of ways you can get to that, right? So one way is through the recruiting portal dashboard, right? You see, we have a call to action here called hire talent. Um, you can click on it um, and basically asks you, you know, um, if you already have a job post for it, right? Usually we would have um, a job post, either long-term or short-term job post for freelancers or long-term for contractors that are going to work more than three to six months, right? And you'd have done use maybe use our ATS to vet them, use our interviewing tools to interview them, and they're a good fit. Now you want to onboard them, you want to give them, extend them an offer, right? So what you do is you come, you click the role, right? So you can see I already have um, a couple of roles here. Um, I'm just going to choose our talent pool. Um, next, ask if you have a hire for it, and then you say yes. And what it does essentially just takes you to the onboarding platform. I'm going to close this tab and show you all the ways you can get to this workflow as well. We have, so I'm going to go back to the recruiting portal and I'm going to go to the, the pipeline, right? So pipeline essentially just means, you know, the different posts you have, the different um, candidates that have applied for it and how to manage them and how basically they go through the workflow, right? Through the different hiring um, interviewing process and all that good stuff. I'm going to put, pick this because I have some people that are hired. Um, so you can see that there is some people in the applied stage, phone interview stage, um, first round stage, hiring stage, hiring manager stage, and hire stage, right? So hire stage is essentially, hey, you've been hired, now it's time to onboard. So we have a different CTA on the card here where you can basically just click and it basically takes you, boom, to where you can immediately start onboarding. The next way to get to the onboarding portal is to come to the actual employee management dashboard. So we remember we have the recruiting dashboard and in our app selector here, we have the manage dashboard. So I'm going to go to the manage dashboard. Um, we can talk about the dashboard in a different video, but one thing I want to show really quick is, hey, you can just basically just click here and start onboarding, right? Cool. So now we're on onboarding, right? So there's a couple of ways to onboard. You can pick from the pipeline. If you already have someone in the higher stage, that's what I just showed you. You can pick from the directory, which is like our talent marketplace, our talent cloud, you can search for anybody in there and you can onboard them from there. Or if the person is not um, on the lobby platform, you can basically send them an invite. It will send an invite to their email with instructions on how to basically register or come and onboard immediately, right? I'm just going to choose from here, right? So next, I'm going to choose somebody that I actually want to onboard. So it's just, this is not necessarily a demo. Um, this is a demo, but it's a, it's a, it's a real use case, sorry. Um, so you can see it basically pre-fills everything for you, right? So you have the name, you have the address, it has everything else, right? So I'm going to say, um, and the stat dates, I'm going to make the stat date 1st of May. Um, I'm going to say the person is reporting to me. Essentially, the reports to is the manager, who the manager is. We can basically use this to orchestrate the org chats for your entire team. Um, but besides that, there's a lot of other things that this will help with when it comes to performance management, who is going to initiate it and all that good stuff. So it's basically very um, tightly coupled in the right way and loosely coupled in ways that it shouldn't, right? So next is the department. I'm going to choose engineering um, because this person is a SWE. Um, next, um, comp, I'm going to uh, say salaried um, and I'm going to essentially just put something, this is not real. So, um, you know, it has other things you can do. By the way, for compensation, there's a couple of types, right? So we have salaried, we have contractors, we have milestone base, we have PSU. Salaried is recurring salary, like the normal conventional full-time employee. Um, essentially contract is essentially, you know, contract base is not necessarily full-time, um, maybe um, 
six months, one um, one year uh, specific time um, for, uh, for contractors. Milestone base is, hey, you know what? I have a project. I have different milestones that I want to be achieved at different timelines and I want to pay you per milestone. That way you can basically monitor the progress and pay them as they work. PS you go is like, hey, I just have a website. I want you to build it. I'm just going to give you a fixed bid. We give you X amount of dollars. You build it for us and we'll pay you, right? So basically all types of employments that you could use um, is, is well supported here, right? So I'm just going to choose, you know, for convenience sake, salary. Um, next, it says documents. Now, this is super interesting, right? So documents, we have multiple ways to generate documents, right? And I can I'll do a different video where I'll show you different ways to basically generate documents. So when we think about documents, we think about offer letters, we think about non-disclosure agreements, NDAs, we think about intellectual property documents, we think about training, any of those such things. The really cool thing about Lobby is we already have predefined templates that work for most generic cases. Um, but we also have other things as well, right? So we have a way for you to generate them through Gen AI. We just basically ask very, very little or no information and we'll basically use Generate to orchestrate a very customized um, document for you. I'll show you that as well. We also have predefined templates and we have for you a way for you to upload them or type them. So we have different options for you. But the idea is we want to give you a very fast way to onboard without any friction, right? So if I wasn't explaining, I would have been done onboarding by now, long, long time ago, right? So for us, um, for this candidate, I have just two documents that I want to um, add. I'm just going to click on it and boom, right? It's going to send them a contract. It's going to send them an NDA. Um, so you can see that if you do, do it for one person, you're going to see the documents so that the next subsequent hires you're having, you don't have to create a document. Again, it just shows up here and you send them. And like I said, we have predefined templates for all of them. All you just need to do is add them to your workflow. Very easy. Next is a checklist. So what a checklist is, is it's a compliance feature where we want you to be able to um, have specific amount of steps that a candidate would have to go through to be um, onboarded, right? So for us, we just have, hey, sign all the documents, um, agree to our terms and conditions and um, add a payment option because we won't be able to pay you um, every month or whenever the evidence is that was set up. Um, and to be considered onboarded, um, completely onboarded, um, you have to be able to do all these things, right? So, you know, this is like a default, but you can also orchestrate your own template for what it is that your checklist is for your candidate. Next thing is you can you can basically, you know, enable um, checklist for this member. You can also enforce order. Enforcing order means, hey, you have to sign the contract before you even see the NDA. You have to do the NDA before you even, you know, you know, basically the order of the checklist and the compliance um, workflow that you have for the candidate is, is that all of them have default values it's super, super, super easy to just click, 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 and boom, you're onboarded, right? Um, I'm going to limit this video just to onboarding. There's a lot of other exciting features, even around onboarding, like how you create a document and how easy we use AI to make this, facilitate this process for you, right? So I'm just going to submit. Uh, when you submit, you can see that, you know, um, it takes me to the team page. Um, I have some talents onboarded for this particular account. I have this talent that I just onboarded. Um, and what it's going to do is basically going to send an email to the person, um, have the person click the link. It's going to also send instructions for the person to be able to onboard as well. You can do fancy things like send reminders um, and other things that would go over in different videos. Um, so, yeah, I think this is a good enough chunk for this video. Uh, I've already gone past my five minutes, but uh, I thought it's one of the features that we're excited about and I wanted to show you. Um, let me know your thoughts. Um, see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.